Good morning. We are going to present you our project. Uh, we named uh, our uh, website uh, Crayon et Papier. It's a French name for uh, pencil and paper. Um, and we are uh, six in the group, but we have worked on uh, only four laptops. Uh, so we are going to screen share from uh, only four laptops. Thank you. First, we're going to start by adding an item and the item code and name and the unit of measure. Then we will click save. Then we will add a new customer and we will write his name and then we click save. After that, we'll choose a new supplier and we'll choose the supplier name and the supplier group and then we click save. First of all, I'm going to start the uh, first step of sales orders. Uh, we're going to click on sale order and after that click on create a new sale order. And we're going to start the following uh, steps. Now we are going to start the manufacturing process. After receiving a notification from the selling department, we are going to start the manufacturing process based on this selling order. Firstly, from the manufacturing module, we will start with production plan. We will choose get from sales order, then we will enter the product code and customer name. Also, we will fill in the details of the sales order and the items to manufacture. Then we will enter the raw materials in the material request plan. Secondly, we will make a work order also from the manufacturing module. Once we enter the item code, it will automatically fill in the bill of material related to it and the required items.
Thirdly, we will register the workstation and indicate its capacity, utilities expenses, and wages. Fourthly, we will enter the operation by relating it to the workstation previously registered. Then we will return to the work order to make this uh, production and the manufacturing process start and proceed to the, the stocks and warehouse process. After completing the order, we go to stock, then stock entry in order to transfer the raw material uh, to manufacturing. We choose material transfer for manufacturing in order to transfer the raw material to factory. Then we adjust the quantity, then we save it. So now we're gonna continue the sales orders. We're gonna click on sales order and after that uh we have here Adam and here's the following steps. Now I'm gonna start the process of uh, create invo sales invoice. We're gonna click on create sales invoice and we continue. And now we're gonna start the accounting steps. We will click on create and choose a sales invoice. In sales invoice, we will find the invoice of the sticky notes that we added before. And then we will save and submit.
we finished the uh, sales invoice, we're going to start the create payment. And the following step is to click on create and choose payment and mode of payment will be cash and then we will save and then we will get sure that sales invoice have been completed. At the end, we are going to click on print to get the bill. And we have the following bill with all the information. And now we're going to start the procurement. We uh, choose a new request for quotation. New request for quotations. And then we have to choose the supplier. We're going now to choose the supplier. And the contact of the supplier. And then we're going to add items and the quantity this is the quantity this is the supplier we have to choose another supplier and then we're going to save and confirm And after the save and confirm, we are going to uh, choose another request, another new request. We add another supplier. We choose the supplier. And after the supplier, we choose the item. And then we choose the quantity. And after we choose the quantity, we save and confirm again. Then we're going back to choose new supplier quotation supplier quotation this is the new supplier quotation and then we choose sub supplier and after the supplier we choose the item and after the item we choose the rate and then after we choosing the rate we save and submit and then we click a uh, new supplier quotation Add new supplier quotation, choose the supplier, and add the quantity, then the rate, and after that we save and submit. Then we go back, we go back to the supplier quotation. 
and after that we choose the cheaper one and after that we uh, create a purchase order and uh, then we uh, go to the new purchase order and then we uh, create a purchase receipt then we print it after we create it then we are going to print it save and submit new purchase order Supplier, the date. We choose the category. And this is the rate. We choose the rate, and then we save and submit. So uh, then we go to purchase receipt. Then we save and submit, and then we print it. We're going to print the uh, purchase receipt. And we uh, go. We're going to go to the purchase invoice. This is the purchase invoice. And it's now unpaid. the purchase invoice it's now unpaid so we are going to uh, choose payment we choose pay payment method this is all the steps for the payment and after we choose the payment method we choose save and submit